Welcome everyone, this is your NXT review. As promised for last week's NXT event, which took place in the CFE Arena in Orlando, Florida, this is the review from February 17th, 2016. Now, as I promised, I was going to make sure I got a second review up today because I didn't get to do last week's issues with my um, WWE Network account. It did get resolved, so don't worry. Oh, oh, my light's changing. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to kind of roll through this pretty quick because um, I still got the other review to do for tonight, and I'm recording a bunch of other videos. I'm going to adjust my camera just a little bit. Okay, now... I apologize for the glare. Hello. Hello. Okay. So this one started off, um, they kind of hyped up the number one contenders match in the promo. I was seriously looking forward to this last week. I was so mad when I wasn't able to watch this. But the first match out the gate was Gabriel, Gable and Jordan, the American Alpha, with Enzo and Big Cass against... Blake and Murphy with Alexa Bliss, who looked like the Freddy Krueger clan, and Dash Wilder and Dawson, who were the tag team champions. Now, right off the bat, Enzo and Cass come out. Huge ovation last week. These guys were hot with that crowd. Blake and Murphy, like I said, they looked like they were Freddy Krueger, along with Alexa Bliss, who even had the cool little glove on. All eight men, they got in the ring early, they were brawling. This match, um, this match ended up kind of going towards Blake and Murphy and Wild and Dawson for a while. I mean, early in the match, it was Gable and Jordan and Enzo and Cass who kind of had the advantage. So it kind of flip-flopped back and forth. It was a good match. It wasn't very long, you know, because they only have an hour time slot to work these matches. But for the time that they were given, it was a good match. It wasn't great. But um, it's NXT. It's still better than Raw. Uh, maybe not this week's Raw. So NXT's got competition this week. But as far as last week, it was it was good. I enjoyed this match. Um, you know they worked over uh, they worked over Gable a majority of the match. But uh, he ended up getting the hot tag. Jordan got in. He cleared the ring. Big Cass got in the ring, and he started kicking people and knocking people and throwing people over the ropes. They took advantage, um, but it was uh, Cass and Enzo getting the victory by using the rocket launcher, is what they were calling it. I don't know if that's the actual name, but um, they got the win. They pinned uh, Dawson, I believe, if I'm wrong. Slap me in the comments. So, that match happened. Then they had an interview with Deanna Pureza. Pureza, I can't pronounce her name. Deanna, okay? Okay. She's Italian and she's she's adorable. She talked about with her last match with Asuka and how Asuka is like no other woman in wrestling, but she's going to, you know, she's going to fight her, blah, blah, blah. Um, and she gave her props to her. But then Emma and Dana Brooke interview, interfered with her and saying that they, they run NXT and then you know, if they couldn't beat Asuka. She can't beat Asuka. And, you know, they said they're going to keep an eye on So this whole women's thing starting to come together. I still think it's going to be Asuka and Bailey come NXT take over Dallas, but we'll see. I'm super hyped about that pay-per-view. Sensei Nakamura freaking, uh, it's just, it's going to be, Nak Nakamura alone makes that pay-per-view awesome for me. But, so then we had Deanna Pureza versus Asuka. She kept trying to avoid the kicks at the opening of the match, but Asuka got it. I mean, I'm going to put it to you simply. Asuka whooped her ass in this match. But there were parts where Deanna wasn't selling things. She was botching a little bit. And I understand she's green and she's learning. That's why she's in NXT. But it, it, it just it came and kind of annoyed me at times. You know what I mean? So I'm adjusting it one more time. Okay, much better. But, uh, the, the series of moves <laughs> that Asuka did towards the end, listen to this. She went for the ankle lock when she tried to kick her. She kind of floated over, got her into an ankle lock, stood up, took the ankle lock, turned it into a German, attempted the pin. She kicked out, didn't let go, got it into a Fujiar, Fujiwa armbar, and then turned that into a chicken wing. 
And then she ended up just kicking her into the head and got the win. Asuka's freaking awesome. Not only is she attractive, but she's just flat out awesome. So to see Asuka do the things that she did in this match was cool. Deanna held her own in this match. Um, she needs work, but I think she's going to be all right. I don't see her being like Divas Champion or Women's Champion eventually. I could be wrong, but yeah, like I said, it was a decent match. So uh, props to both of them, and Asuka's a beast, I'm just saying. But they showed the highlights from Bailey and Carmella's match last week, and they showed Nia Jax and Eva Marie attacking them. I don't know what they're doing with this women's title picture, but they were they were showing the women heavy at first. Then comes the perfect 10, Mr. Dillinger, to take on Alex Riley, who I honestly forgot was even on the NXT roster. Um, Alex Riley can fucking go, dude. Alex Riley is a beast, but... The match, it was back and forth. Dillinger, um, he can hang, man. For Alex Riley being an eight-year vet, having you know been under the Miz, dude knows how to wrestle. Dillinger showed. Dude belongs right where he is. Dillinger got a roll-up for the win. He walks out, and Alex Riley, I don't know, they kept trying to play this angle that he feels like he's been shunned. He feels like he's fighting for his career, which is probably true because Alex Riley's been all over the place, man, since he left the Miz. They tried to, they looked like they were going to give him a push when he faced the Miz at Capital Punishment back in 2011, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. Then they did the interview with Finn Balor. Anytime I can see Finn Balor on TV, I don't care what it is, I want to see Finn Balor. Finn Balor is fucking beast, man. I've, been, I've said that three fucking times. Are. Jeez, man, my words I keep cussing. Bad, Zach, bad. <laughs> Interview with Finn Balor, um, they talked to him about the number one contenders match. He pretty much put it to the point of, it doesn't really matter who wins this, whoever wins has to face him, and whoever wins, he's ready for him. Uh, but he said it in a respectful way, you know, he knows both men are, are worthy. Okay, moving on, yes I kept my notes. So they were pretty much ready for the main event. But you see Baron Corman pair Hey, this is unedited. I'd not do that no more. Um, so Baron Corbin tried to get one last try at getting into the match for the number one tendership, but Rigo says, Look, my decision is my decision. And he says, Oh, uh, something or another. I didn't catch it. He said it and he kind of mumbled. So Baron Corbin, words of the wise. Speak clearer next time, all right, bro? All right. The number one contenders match. Both men entered the ring. Uh, the crowd showed respect to both men. You know, they, they cheered for Zayn. Did the, you know, Joe's going to kill you chance, which have been going since NXT. This match, for what it was, not the best match I've ever seen Samoa Joe in. Definitely not the best match I've ever seen Sami Zayn in. But it was still a pretty damn good match to me. I enjoyed it from the start. Watching Sami Zayn work the way he worked with Samojo one on one, I want to see more of these guys in singles competition with each other because, man, they just looked good. Um, Joe started the match off slow and methodical, just kind of grinding down Sami Zayn, um, and he just he. He just beat him down most of the match. Just kept him down, kept knocking him down. Lots of suplexes, lots of holds. Um, yeah, Sammy just got punished during this match. Um, Sammy would keep, you know, he kept trying to make progress, kept trying to gain momentum, but Joe would just knock him back down. Lots of, Sammy's finally started getting like some clotheslines in. Even hit a thunderbomb and Joe kicked out of that. Um, I also want to note that when you watch Samoa Joe at his age, being the size that he is, and he's been this pretty much his entire career, he is a very agile, limber guy. Um, and to watch him do the things he does, um, he'll fly over the rope, he'll jump off the top rope, he'll jump up and give you insiguries. Dude can go. I, 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 I'm hesitant about him going to the main roster. 
Um, but NXT Dallas is going to be a determination of that. I will talk about that soon. But Sammy, you know, he showed heart in this match. It was a back and forth battle between these two. They went about 20 minutes, maybe a little less. Um, Joe tried setting up for the muscle buster. Sami Zayn got out of it, hit him with the um, helo, helo kick, fell down on Joe. Both men's shoulders were counted down. Um, match ended up being a draw. You know, the referee was trying to explain to William Regal, uh, you know, this uh, you know, this guy's shoulders down, this guy's shoulders are down. Regal's all like, yo, I need a number one contender. I, I need a number one contender. I can't do that for you, sir. I don't know what to tell you. So it ended in, in controversy. Okay. The match itself was good. I'm not a fan of the finish. I like NXT, but them finishing the match the way they did with the draw, come on. Can we just get a number one contender? I know there's still like five weeks until we get to the Dallas uh, TakeOver show, but let's get some build going, man. I want to know... Sammy is facing Nakamura, and I want to know that Balor's facing Joe. Balor's ankle is healed. Um, there's live events of him running him around. He just It was just a spring. He's good. So let's get the build for this going. Um, like I said, this is going to be a short review, a little quicker than I normally would because I, you all still have another one. Overall, uh, good episode. Um, not the top. 10 best episodes I've seen of NXT, but still another good episode. NXT still on the right track. So I'm Zach with the Yo Bro Gaming Review. Thank you all for watching this video. Um, I will see you guys a little bit later with my review for NXT tonight. Got some big videos coming up this weekend. Just a reminder, I got two Road to WrestleMania reviews coming up this weekend. I actually am getting, I'm still working on one. Got another one to work on later. Got some stuff with Wayne coming this week. So keep an eye out on the channel. Subscribe to us. Follow us on Twitter to keep updates. Follow us on Facebook. All that good shit. Thank you all. Y'all have a good night. Talk to you later. So, Really hard. Really hard. Injury, uh, one of the best in the world. Then I watched them battle in the raw. Holy shit. On Monday. Wait, that's a victory. Sammy Zane ends up taking a submission. This is the second step against the two of you for NXT. For...